Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. Every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm dropping brand new videos on topics such as public speaking, social skills, emotional resilience, and much more. Join the tribe by hitting that subscribe button right on below, hit that bell notification, and never miss another video again. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And be sure to drop that like on your way in as we enter the world of speaking skills to talk about how to articulate like Jordan Peterson. A lot of the principles that I'm going to be bringing up in this video is from my book, Speak Easy, How to Be Articulate, Assertive, and Audacious Around People, currently available on Amazon, Audible, and Gumroad. I'll drop all the links right on in the description box and in the pinned comment right on below. Here's the thing, it's great to see principles in theory format being displayed in practical format. If you've never heard of Jordan Peterson before, here's a quick little recap. Uh, he is a Canadian psychologist, used to lecture in the universities, eventually became very well known as a speaker and a lecturer. And nowadays, he gets paid to write books and to speak which means that he needs to be great in his craft in order to get paid. There's different things that we can learn from Jordan Peterson in terms of our own life. You don't necessarily need to be an upcoming writer or speaker to understand some of the practical tips that I'm going to bring up. Just keep your ears open and see which of the strategies is right for you. The first strategy that you can learn from Jordan Peterson is to respect language arts. When you think of reading and writing, what do you think of? Do you think of these being acts that a warrior can do? Unfortunately, most people don't. When they're thinking of reading and writing, they're thinking that's what nerdy people do. But the way that Jordan Peterson views language arts is sort of like a samurai. He believes if you can read at will and write at will, then you become powerful. You become taller. You become stronger. But you got to condition yourself to see this, where reading, whenever you're reading something, you're learning how to think properly. You're learning to clarify your thinking processes. And whenever you're writing, you're learning the art of articulating your ideas in a clarified way where you can make eye contact with your mind. If you can frame language arts in a way where it doesn't feel like something that is just for nerdy or dorky people, but you view it like a warrior, then there's going to be that spirit in order to learn these two different acts. So the first thing that I can tell you is to respect language arts like Jordan Peterson does. Number two is to know a lot. It's very easy to speak when you know a lot on the topic. Not just a little bit. I'm talking a lot on the topic. You ever been to Home Depot before? The last time I went to Home Depot, I just needed this small item for my sink. And I go in there and there was this guy that was working in Home Depot that was getting my question on what item I needed. And he starts giving me a history lesson of this part. He starts talking about who invented this part, why I should be interested, and all the variations of this part as well. I'm thinking, yo, shut up and just tell me which lane I should be going to. But this guy was giving me insight into speaking skills. He knew so much about this part that he was effortlessly rambling on the topic. Now, you don't necessarily want to ramble in conversations, but let's say you have a speech coming up, a lecture coming up, a YouTube video coming up. If you know a lot about the material, then it's gonna become very easy to clarify that material. There's two types of problems in the content creation world. One of the problems is when you don't have enough material, and you have to force yourself to think of the material. 
And the other problem is when you have a lot of material and you just need to trim things away. If you're any savvy speaker out there, you would much rather have this problem where you know a lot. And this point connects back to point number one. If you respect language arts, then you in the process of reading are going to learn a lot. So be like Jordan Peterson in this scenario and take risks in understanding the material. You don't always have to learn from just a textbook. You can learn from the world. The third tip in order to articulate like Jordan Peterson is to have some passion for your topic. Every now and then I notice that his voice starts to crack. He cries a lot nowadays and he uses the phrase bloody a lot. I don't know if this is true, but I heard saying bloody is pretty, uh, I wouldn't say vulgar, but it's a pretty uh, edgy word where he's from. It's sort of like a curse word in the Florida or in the West. One thing that I've noticed throughout my experience in Toastmasters and speaking in different masterminds and working with different people who are speaking in front of an audience, and this isn't the politically correct thing to say, but every now and then, a vulgar word indicates passion. I'm not saying that go ahead and start cursing nonstop. The main thing that we're focusing on is the passion part. How you exude passion is up to you. But for you to exude passion, you need to really care about the topic, which ties into the last point. For you to know a whole bunch about a topic, there needs to be that emotional connection. This is how the world of emotional intelligence merges with the world of communication skills. You can't force someone to be passionate about a topic. There's that curiosity that pulls us to that topic in some way, shape or form. For me personally, learning communication skills was useful in an emotional sort of way because a lot of the other kids in College of Engineering were awkward. So I thought, yo man, this could be a good way for me to set myself apart. Also, growing up shy, I realized that learning communication skills can help me articulate my ideas better. So there's that emotional connection towards the field of communication skills, where for Jordan Peterson, it's more so about understanding the darkness that humans are capable of. This is something that he's passionate for. And the more passionate that he is for it, every now and then, there's that level of vulnerability that slips through his voice. In a logical world, that would make him look weak, but him as a speaker, it makes him seem more relatable and it makes us understand his words on a deeper level. So in your field, the goal is not to just start cursing left and right. The goal is to analyze what makes you feel passionate and the more that you know it, the more that it will naturally fall out of your voice. So these were the three tips that you can do in order to speak more like Jordan Peterson. Number one, respect language arts more. Number two, know a whole bunch about the topic. And number three, leverage passion in order to connect with your audience. If you enjoyed this video and you want more of an in-depth breakdown on how to articulate yourself like a winner, be sure to check out Speakeasy, how to be articulate, assertive, and audacious around people. In this book, you're going to learn how to craft your ideas in a compelling manner, how to speak effortlessly, and how to build a brand that appeals to other people's emotional sides, not just their logical side. You can access the book in the description box, the pinned comment, or go to ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I will catch you next time.